Hi folks, well, it's that time again. My name is Zane Nabulsi. I'm a senior developer evangelist with Microsoft. There's my contact information in the upper left-hand corner. And today we're going to be talking about using the recent projects list. It's a couple of blog posts. It's actually uh, VS Tip Tool 003 uh, and VS Tip Tool 0017. And that's actually VS Tip Tool 0003. Okay, so moving right along, let's jump into this. Uh, you may or may not have noticed that when you open up Visual Studio, and here I'll just open it up real quick, in the recent projects area, we now actually have the ability to pin items to the recent projects list. So that's kind of cool. Um, so you can actually pin an item to the recent projects list. Now be careful. All this guarantees is that the item will never leave the list. It does not guarantee that it will rise to the top. In fact, it won't. You can see here I pinned it and, it, and it didn't go to the top, nor will it go to the top until I actually use it again. So here, let me just demonstrate. So I actually load up the project, um, and now it becomes the most recent project that I've, that I've used. So notice it rose to the top. But if I open up a different uh, project, then that becomes the most recent, and it rises to the top, pinned or not. So the only thing pinning guarantees is that the item will never leave the recent projects list. Now, in addition to that, um, you may or may not have noticed that you can now right-click on projects in the recent projects list, uh, and not only open the project, but open the containing folder, and now remove items from the list, which is very useful. We've been wanting that for quite some time. Uh, so now you can dynamically remove items from the list as well if you want to. Here, I'll go ahead and get rid of my C++ test, and it's all gone. Very cool, very simple, uh, very easy. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Uh, new stuff you can do with the recent projects list in Visual Studio 2010. Enjoy!